welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn. I'll pull out your three romance angel messages like we always do. And then we're going to get right into your animal spirits, Capricorn. And this is going to be for March 1st to the 7th, all right? So let's get right into it. Straight out, you have keep an open mind. Soulmate. Nice. And we have you deserve love. All right, guys. So nice uh, romance angel messages. Let's go ahead and get your animal spirits out. Oh. Now, your animal spirits can be people you might be dealing with or energies you're tapping into this week. All right. So we'll see what your animal spirits for this week are. Spirit Capricorn, the bear, earth energy, nice, and the hawk, wow, strong animal spirits for you this week. Um, before we get into your spread, let's just talk about it real quick. The whale, of course, is water energy, talking about a uh, deep level of understanding, being able to go very deep with your emotions and handle it. The whale is strong, right? Very wise. And so a lot of times this can be a really sort of nurturing energy as well. Like somebody who's able to sort of listen to you, perhaps tell your story, or you are you may be resonating with the spirit of the whale Capricorn and you're really serving as a uh, a really strong support for someone who's going through a lot of deep emotional issues that they're talking about. They may be talking with you. Uh, the spirit of the wheel is also associated sort of with counselors and therapists, people who are able to go deep with others and support them while they're sort of exercising these deep emotions. Very strong energy. Now the bear is also earth energy, talking about a stumbling, uh, stumbling out of a spiritual sort of, uh, uh, stumbling into a spiritual awakening, right? Or coming out of a spiritual slumber, you know, just like the bear hibernates, you know, this is a feeling of someone who has uh, perhaps, you know, only now begun to explore spiritual side of things. You might just now be getting into mysticism or theology. You might now be getting into all kinds of esoteric sort of themes or ideas or just thinking about life in a much more spiritual way and certainly seeing that spirit connected to the earth, right? Connected to your everyday uh, activities. And that's the thing with the bear. It's a very earthy sort of animal spirit, of course, but it is an awakening still within this earthy animal spirit of how, of how uh, the universe or the spirit is imbued in everything. So it's a real sort of new sort of idea of life or way of looking at life with the bear. Now, the hawk is the messenger of the divine, oftentimes um, messenger of fate, right? The hawk is air energy and really has the ability to bring perspective to the situation. Whenever the spirit of the hawk is there, you're suddenly able to see the big picture as well as all the details and how they fit in. Um, the hawk as well, the spirit of the hawk often comes in as well when we feel as though destiny or fate has her eyes on us. So when things begin to sort of happen in a way that's you know, like these happy coincidences, you know, feeling of serendipity, everything seems to work out, everything seems to happen at the right time, at the right place, you know, you just seem to be guided into exactly the right decisions at, at any given moment, and so this is the spirit of the hawk definitely coming in, and certainly a feeling of the divine or the divine fates, you know, just really guiding you along exactly, showing you where you want to be going exactly, pretty, you know what I mean? Next step. What's your next step? And it may not even be them guiding you, but you certainly, whenever you're making your decisions right now with the spirit of the hawk in the air, they always seem to feel like the right decisions, right? All right, guys. So 10 of cups, we have two of cups and we have nine of pentacles. Wow. So some of you are coming into this week with a Ten of Cups, very, very happy you found your soulmate, right? Ten of Cups is certainly a completion, a feeling of having found somebody, the person you're going to be moving forward with, certainly. 
very interesting because you round your week off with a nine of pentacles and that is someone who's extremely ambitious and has really been on their own for quite some time. Generally, nine of pentacles is someone who's very independent, right? But here we have a ten of cups. You're definitely coming to completion in some area of your life with regard to a love connection, Capricorn. You come into the week and you have a two of cups. So this is interesting. It almost feels as though like maybe you've met their family or you've met, you know, You've met the surroundings, right? The environments or the, out, the uh, extraneous bits to this relationship. And it seems to be very happy and you're very contented. You're getting along with everyone. And then it feels like later on this week, you guys actually come together and make that commitment. By the end of the week, you do resonate with the Nine of Pentacles. And that's interesting because I think that you are in indeed a very independent person financially. And I'm not sure that you're willing to completely... You're making this commitment here with this person. Two of Cups is a really balanced union and commitment. And you certainly have a feeling of completion with this person, but it's interesting that you will still feel like you want to keep your finances to yourself, like you're wanting to keep that part of your life to yourself, right? Uh, you're not quite ready to share your career, your finances, your business, etc. Or You're certainly thinking about that by the end of the week. Right. You're thinking about, OK, well, how is this love going to impact me in that way? It doesn't feel like a bad thing. It doesn't feel like you're trying to be stingy or weird about it or anything. It just feels like this is something you've worked very hard for, Capricorn. And just because you're very much in love here and wanting to come together with this connection, it still feels like you're not quite ready to do that full sort of connection in every single area of your life. Certainly not with your money. Ace of Pentacles. Empress and the moon. So some of you are coming into this week with a great opportunity for money, opportunity in your career, your business coming in. Excellent, excellent uh, timing, right? And so you come into this week with this energy, right? You're about to really take off in one particular path or, like I said, take this particular opportunity that's coming your way for abundance to come in. This could even be a promotion or you may even be like increasing your business in some area or whatever like that. But it's certainly a nice um, opportunity for a lot of cash, you know, a lot of progress, a lot of abundance to come in. You enter this week, you're met with Empress Energy. And that's quite interesting because there is a feeling of... Uh, I wonder if this is somebody coming into you that who is starting to kind of pull you out of yourself because I don't feel like this is you necessarily resonating here, Capricorn. I feel like it's someone who's like showing you the way to pamper yourself a bit more, to take care of yourself a little bit more. It's quite interesting. It's like I feel like this person is associated with this new opportunity. It could only, it could almost be like this person is the one who's bringing it to you, and they're they're also sort of uh, trying to get you to really enjoy yourself as well. This could be a benefactor who is also like, you know, I, it just feels like somebody's like, well, look, we're gonna make all of this money together, but but first, before we do that, please come and luxuriate with me. You know what I mean? Come and do this with me. They may invite you to go somewhere or hang out or travel or something like that it feels very luxurious capricorn some of you um it could be like a real this could be an opportunity that you're getting from someone who is already quite famous quite wealthy right and so not only are they giving you an opportunity but they're really wanting to indulge you as well by the end of the week you do have moon energy so you're gonna feel a little bit odd about the whole thing like you may be feeling like this is a test you're not really sure because you're not understanding why things, you know, why the business uh, offer is going this way or why things or events are turning out this way. It may be that you've never been sort of um, treated like this before. You may have never been in this sort of environment before. But when we're talking about an Ace of Pentacles and Emperor's Energy together, that's highly luxuriant. That's high, you know, that's a really high level of abundance and wealth and just surrounding so uh, for some of you you might very well be falling in with someone who is at that level right and they're really kind of sweeping you off your feet and you're feeling like wow this can't you know this is real you know with this moon energy like what do i do but you know you just get through it get through it like a professional you know and, and just see you know just trust yourself, you know, to make the right decisions. This doesn't feel like somebody's trying to trick you or dupe you. It just feels like it's on such a high level. This new opportunity is on such a high level that you may not have experienced just this kind of financial status before when somebody's been offering you a job. Devil, 
Eight of Cups and Seven of Cups. Well, this is your last spread. And uh, the devil is definitely talking about, uh, you know, being sort of tested in a lot of ways, right? Uh, some of you certainly, this feeling of being maybe even triggered in a lot of ways, right? Um, it could be a relationship coming back to you or someone trying to come back to you. And it's like very easy to fall in with them again. But you realize, I think later on. Uh, that, you know, you just can't do it. The reason why I say that is because, you you know, you're met with the Eight of Cups energy this week. And it's like, it does feel like, you know, someone is coming into your life, Capricorn. You may have a lot of fun with them. You may really enjoy your time with them, you know, but it's like when they come into your life, it's such, you know, they really pull you down that road of like doing things that you'll regret later. You know, it's just a very kind of addictive, codependent road. That's the energy of the devil, you know. Certainly when you're unhappy, the devil can come in and really drag you down a negative path. And it's not that he, the devil is, doesn't, isn't from the outside, but it's just events and people that can trigger sort of desires that you have within yourself. We all have certain desires that we could easily become you know, addicted to or prey victim to, right? And it's just that certain environments, you know, lead, you know, make make us want to follow that path even more. And that's devil energy. But by the middle of the week, you were, you were having eight of cups and you're realizing that you can't do this again. You're realizing that you can't deal with this kind of energy. I think for some of you, you're going to be turning your back. It could be like, you may have seen somebody that you've dated before, right? And you know it's never fun or it never turns out fun or you always end up regretting it. And it's like they may be coming into you this week and you don't even, you just turn your back. You say, no, not this time. I'm not going to wait until I'm all miserable or regretful or wishing it never happened. You know, I'm this time I'm just going to turn my back and move on. By the end of the week, you do have a seven of cups. And I think you're starting to really... There is a feeling of like unrealistic sort of expectations. It could be that you may be a little bit hard on yourself, Capricorn, right? You may be sort of, you know, because Seven of Cups generally is a feeling of having your head in the clouds, having a real rosy idea of what you want, or it can also be unrealistic expectations. And it could be that you may be being a little too hard on yourself and saying, look, I'm not going to get into any kind of relationship unless it's perfect like this, 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 and this, you know. And no relationships are perfect. So just take care that you don't sort of, this is a feeling of swinging to the other extreme, you know. I feel like you're so disgusted in a way when this person comes in and drags you back into this or tries to drag you back into this codependent relationship. I think it bothers you so much that not only do you turn away, but some of you may get a little bit more or too uh, fixed on an unrealistic idea idea of what a relationship should be before you entertain it, right? And so don't be so hard on yourself that you never ever date again or that you stop sort of even, you know, going out or 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 even looking for a romantic connection unless it is that perfect perfect connection, which is quite unrealistic, right? Cuz they don't all have to turn into this energy of what this relationship did for you here. By the way, this is your card. The devil is the card for Capricorn, but that doesn't really mean anything here or there. It just means that, you know, um, this is your energy in a lot of ways. The devil is highly creative, but it's just that when he's not happy with his, you know, expressing his creativity with a higher purpose or a higher sense of spiritual enlightenment or your purpose, rather, spiritual purpose or aesthetic purpose, this is when he descends into instant gratification and sort of you know, cheap satisfaction, you know what I mean? And that's where we become addicted and codependent. So it's a strange week of you really realizing that you don't want to go down that road again with somebody, but just take care that you don't go to the other extreme. All right, my lovely Capricorns, this is your reading for March 1st to the 7th. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check out your other readings that are in the description below as well. Um, your March Love Outlook is there, and also your 2020 General Outlook and Love Outlooks are there also. But for right now, my lovely Capricorns, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week for your weekly. Bye-bye now.